Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here, Marta Miss Small Art. Welcome! How are you today? I hope you are doing great. Actually, I should say how are you tonight because it's 1am here in Ireland. I should be asleep by now, but I just didn't feel like going to bed. And I know I'm not gonna finish this project tonight because it's uh, way too much happening here. But I thought to start, I thought to grab some things and as you can see, <laughs> those are really random looking pieces. And they really are random. We have some doll, we have some puzzles, we have some numbers, metals, lace really some kind of uh, recycling looking things. We have some chess, we have canvas, we have old mouse from computer. Crazy strange things. We are gonna try to do something with it. Is it possible? <laughs> Without any further ado, let's just craft something absolutely amazing. I've asked you on my YouTube channel in the section when it's called society, I've asked you what would you like to see and really a few minutes ago Mixed Media Canvas was winning which now at Art Journaling is winning. I should be making Art Journaling so I'm gonna do it after Canvas because I have all these things ready. I hope you will forgive me or maybe I'm gonna record this and then post it later. Anyway, at least I know that you prefer canvas and art journaling over altered art, over watercolors and card making. So, let's do some canvas together. Where do I start? I said canvas, so I should really get my canvas ready. But in the meantime, when I was getting my things out from my desk and my messy, messy drawers, I found this chess box thing that I purchased for altering really uh, cheaply somewhere, I can't remember, somewhere on the internet. And let's see what's inside. I haven't opened it. Oh, sorry for the noise. One last, <laughs> one last touch. Because maybe I will... Oh, they are so cute! Imagine and altering that over canvas. That would be so cool. I absolutely love the chess thing. It could be altered like this as well. Beautiful wooden panel. Or like that. Ha, I think I'm gonna change my mind from canvas because I thought to do reversed canvas anyway into the chess panel. I hope you don't mind. It's nearly like canvas. You can you see use canvas if you if you want. And I also found those chests that I also poured. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Also purchased. And I had this idea to actually <laughs> put them here on this canvas. But since I have the wooden panel, this could be super cute as well. Why not? Imagine this. Oh, that's so cute looking. It is really... I'm not sure about the horses. <laughs> like that maybe? Wow, wow, I love it, so different. Okay, I also have a dolly, I'm not <laughs> too sure if she's any good here, if this is actually not too crazy idea. But I also have the box filled with wooden leftovers and I was thinking to use them too, of course, to create some texture I'm gonna grab some random pieces really to create some texture with my elements somehow. I have some wooden tags, I have tons of things here. So why not to do that? Those are, as you can see, I have tons of them. Those are from the back of the canvas. You stick the thing here, here, you stick the thing here and here. And here as well so the the canvas itself the material wouldn't bend I think and because I have been doing kids parties for a very long time and we were doing art on canvas that's why I have to have so many of those leftovers this is the reason okay let's see I really think these are cute this can be cute cork ha why not that could be nice as well somehow I don't know I'm just I'm very random here now and I also have runny nose I feel and I didn't maybe it's the hour it's the evening time or something 
You know what, maybe the dolly is not going to be actually a, a good idea at all here. Maybe I'm going to skip it and just do something else because really what, because it's so, like, it's like being here, I can't see it. I don't know, I think I, I just do this panel maybe, just like kind of that, as in, I have gorgeous flowers from a friend. Maybe I just do this panel like more like an abstract textury panel from chess. I think so. I don't know. I think so and I don't know. I don't know and I know at the same time. How crazy is this? No. No, no, no. Two seconds. The damn things, mm, I'm not too sure. But this is cool. This is cool. More of those. Hmm. Hannah didn't wake at all tonight yet, so she can in a, in a second. Hopefully not. She went quite late to sleep tonight. She kind of didn't, couldn't, couldn't make herself comfortable. So, do you know what? I've learned to just kind of not taking this too serious. And I took your advice when you said enjoy when you can because they grew out grew up so fast so I stopped complaining about her kind of um, you know being going to sleep late and the fact that I have to be with her I actually enjoy it now I always did but you know I just felt that oh I should by now be having her ready to rock oh look I'm just playing like like Wow, this is so random, but <laughs> I, I really love it. I really love it. I hope I'm not gonna lose this and I be able to re, 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 <laughs> redo it and re stick it. Okay, I think it's super cute. What can it be? <laughs> chessboard? Is it chessboard? I think it's called chessboard. How fabulous. I just looked if it's recording. It is. <laughs> That's good. Chessboard. Totally fabulous. Wow. And imagine this a butterfly in the middle. Let's see. Let's see. Look what I found. I have moth and I have dragonfly as well. Before you ask me where I got it, these are coming from sets like that of uh, butterflies and a box really I got them from friends they were sent from Europe so really these are um, some of them are from Belgium no actually one is from Canada I think I'm really confused because I got few at the same time anyway it's not easy to google it for it because they were usually got in like regular mortal shops so in case you're wondering hmm, hopefully you somehow managed to find them uh, these are from works in UK and this one is deco time from I think um, these are deco time crafts deco time crafts I don't know if you are able to find it but just saying just in case in the meantime I was thinking 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 what to do with it and I thought I don't want to do a regular colorful project the same exactly as I, as I always do and also I thought this looks so beautiful raw as it is like assemblage when you have assemblage art and if you ever google for assemblage art you would find that many pieces is really not colored there's no medium added there are all kinds of elements and there is this sensational composition created from odd elements really but I was thinking and I looked at my papers because my set is not really vintage no it's 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 not but there is one which is first page by the way this is my new paper set if you haven't seen it yet you have to check it out in the shop I ha I will make a separate <laughs> video about it hopefully soon it's just I don't know I'm, I'm all over the place and I'll show you a few pages they are gorgeous like that I was already cutting it for something but look at this page particular hmm isn't it that just amazing I think this is 
my favorite page from the set. I really think, if I can say it, definitely one of my most favorite. And I was thinking to use it as the background for that project. And then, since it's vintage and I don't want to add any mediums, I was thinking, how can I actually add some mediums without adding mediums? How can I, what can I do to make the, the pieces standing out? And I was thinking to use maybe ink. So let's try, let's see if I am thinking correctly. So I'm going to take my paper from the set, from the pad. Uh, and I'm taking the thicker one because you can choose from this uh, paper pad, you can choose thicker, background and thinner. I'll show you now. These are thicker here and here are much thinner. See, this is the same one, but it's thinner. Is it the same one? It is the same one. But it is thinner and it's more for art journaling, collage. Look, it's very delicate, which this is... Oh, oh this is the best to show you the difference between them. This is like copy paper, like really thin collage paper. And this one is cardboard, <laughs> nearly. So yes, you have uh, them, all of them like the copy paper, like collage paper and the very thick ones and you have also die cuts which are not here because I possibly cut them all from this set but I have one more set so you can have a look here as well they are absolutely gorgeous this is all made by me these are hand drawn, hand painted everything I'm so proud of it, so loving it and there are stickers, new stickers and other things stencils, so yeah, have a look if you feel like it I thought that this color could really nicely match and just be so amazing. I love that this is like, what can I say? It's like, it's not, it, it's vintage, but it's rust, not rust. It's like, like, um, if something rotten, <laughs> that's the color a little bit, I think. So anyway, I love it. Now, how can we actually preserve the com composition? You can. What I did is I took a photo. I'm going to try to recreate that somehow and see if it's possible. You know, if I'll change and swap a little bit, that's okay too. You know, no stress, no stress. But anyway, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to try to take this because I love that composition. So I really, 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 really <clears throat> wish to keep it somehow, as you can imagine. So... If I make some mistake in the meantime, that's okay. If I, you know, change it, swap it a little bit, that's all fine. I don't think I will use both of butterfly and the moth and the thing, but at least there are two of them optional, so you can decide for yourself. I love that now. I love that, love that so much. Very random elements, as you can see, and that's perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this more so I have more space for you to see everything. Otherwise, it will be trouble. Trouble, my there is a trouble. Okay, you nearly can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to measure it exactly as the paper is and cut it. Where is my cutter? <laughs> so I cut it here, tiny strip tiny tiny so I can fit it here and I didn't find my tiny cutter that's okay I love it I love it how I'm gonna be making it even more um, where are you I'm looking for this tool okay anyway I can use this one approximately There we go. Let's cut that now. One piece is ready, pretty much. I don't want to stick it too much. So now, either this one, oops, sorry, either this one or this one. But I think I leave, let, wait two seconds. If I'll take, let's say, oh, this may help. So either this one, those two, hmm. Or those, yeah, definitely those two. Okay, let's cut that. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, they are like perfect nearly, so I oh, I didn't put any glue. Two seconds, let me grab that out and let's put some glue or some gel medium, whichever, probably gel medium, I guess. I'm gonna grab some water so I can dip in my brush right away with gel medium because gel medium dries very strong, very hard and you're, if you're not gonna mind your brush it will literally destroy uh, your brush, the gel medium so you have to be very careful oh, no, no, not in the water <laughs> gel medium okay, let's add some generous amount of gel medium now I have to say that this project is turning a completely different uh, I had the feeling that I'm gonna do as always which is like covering everything uh, with some just so all the elements and covering it with the color but you know what when I looked at it all and I felt that wow this is like I don't know some so beautiful the way as it is and maybe I don't want to make them all this so you know <laughs> anyway <laughs> everyone's opinion everyone's choice but today we're going into assemblage more than anything <laughs> i think let's see how i'm gonna oh that's fitting perfectly perfect you can help what i love about my papers and forgive me for being um for saying about myself what i love about them is that when i was making them i was thinking i really wanted them by themselves to be like a work of art so when I was creating every single centimeter of each page I was really hoping for it to be as unique as possible and also for it to be um, to make your life my life easier so that you will have some ready steady made kind of background ideas that you can follow up what's on the page already like here well, I be honest, I haven't been used. I've used um, I've used uh, the the papers for one project, and it's not on the channel yet. I'm not sure if this will be first or the other one. I don't know yet. Probably this one. So I'm not gonna show you and spoil you the other one. But this is my first time using the papers, the background. So you know, I hope I'm. <laughs> I'm right saying it and I hope that using it it's gonna be pleasurable and all because to be honest <laughs> it is my first time using them so yes it's um it's really amazing or maybe this one is slightly too big that's okay it's really really amazing to see um, the papers the stencils and everything in action I have to say it's very strange feeling at the same time I love it but it's very stressful and for myself as well to use it the way oops some little buggy and use it the way as um, I don't know as I imagined it while I was making it you know that's pretty crazy <laughs> to me I love that so so much even like this imagine imagine if this is a box and you have this inside there gorgeous I love them paper so much <laughs> I wonder if I should actually use the papers here around as the border or actually not because if I do it then we're gonna lose the fact that there's this cheese board so I'm gonna make chess board not cheese board chess board so maybe I'm gonna leave it so my next idea my next thing that I thought about was to take this ink and start altering my pieces the way that they look old and you know touched by age and all and vintage really so let's see if this is something I can always repaint that if I'm mistaken it if it's not something nice oh, look at that I know I'm gonna cover a lot of my background right now but you know what <laughs> this could be amazing Oh wow, okay, I see it now. I think we could do the same edging with our, with our, um, oh I love that. We could do the same edging with our, what's the word, with our chessboard, you know? Wow, 
I'm lose I lost my I lost my composition, didn't I? That's okay. Wow, I love that. Okay, interesting. It's gonna be interesting what to do next, what to do next after coloring. We need to stick this down, but it lo really looks great to me. See, assemblage is something I used to do more often. Um, probably, hmm, to, to, wouldn't be say wrongly four or five years ago, uh, my oldest videos would have projects of this kind where I've been kind of more courageous, I would say. So yes, something along those lines. <laughs> four years ago, let's say, when I was doing the design team projects for companies for different products and now look at me using my own products that's <laughs> pretty crazy I always dreamt about it but really I don't know there was the, I just needed a push I guess a push and time and all a push I suppose oh I love this look at that I love it I don't know if we can actually do anything with the cork we can try there we go the edges of the roundy circle. Hey, hey, why not? Okay, I definitely, I'm definitely lost regards the composition, at least on that side. That's okay. I have my hot glue gun plugged in because this is paper, so I don't think I need to be adding anything super strong to that. Now I don't think this is shiny, so I don't think I can do anything with them. I'm going to leave them natural as they are. And I will start adding the elements, like... Oh! This is very wet. Okay, like that. Then, could be next one. Mm-hmm. I love that. What's amazing about this project, I guess, it's that I, <laughs> I seriously have no plan here. I mean, it's not even I have no plan. I've no, I've no idea what I'm talking, what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's what time of the day, of the night? It's quarter to two in the morning. Lucas is at work, and he should be back around maybe three or four o'clock or something. I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just, oh I like that, I think I'm gonna just wait for him, I guess, I guess. Don't burn yourself with the hot glue, please. I really love the idea of using um, chess board and chess itself cheese board. <laughs> it's very quiet in the house, isn't it? And if I'm strange now, it's the time of the day, of the night, really. It's, it's seriously late. So I may be like half asleep in moments and less chatty, so please forgive me that. Uh, this is a really strange project. <laughs> so not me, but you know what? It's good to do things so not you. It's just good to be, you know, try to be unique and try to, um, what's the word, challenge yourself, do things differently, grab for, grab the materials, tools that normally you wouldn't grab, you know. Okay, I love it so much, so much. Now, you have to go from here. Okay and this web. Okay, now, let's see. I think I'm missing, right, there was one more like this. That's okay. Let's just do the the other side first, and then we can concentrate on other things as well. So the color I'm using, by the way, is called Walnut Stain. I'm sure there's plenty of Tim Holtz fans and you know much better than me <laughs> about the colors of the inks now 
I may change my plan regards the of sticking everything down uh, so that some parts of the paper will be still visible. We'll see how is that possible. Wow, this is such an interesting, such an interesting piece. And really you can add and create this shadow, it's like a shadow box, yes. You can add anything you have and instead of chess you can add little bottles, you can add some photograph here, anything, you know, you are the limit. There is no limits. You can do seriously anything you wish. And it's good to have hot, uh, cold water next to you in case you burn yourself. Maybe like that. Maybe I should start adding my 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 um them things. I don't know where that was. Was it on top or bottom or nowhere? can't remember. Oh, I have the photo. Let me see. <laughs> Let me quickly look at it. Oh, it was there on the bottom. <laughs> as well as this one. Oh, this one was not there. Oh, okay. It was in the middle. Okay. That's okay. I'll swap. I'll somehow <laughs> change it hugely. So maybe like this and like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, hello. Oops. Go back there. And this one as well. It's very quiet. It's very strange. I can't remember when was the last time I was recording in the night. While everyone is asleep. While the girls... Hmm. I'm changing now. I know. That's okay too. Wow. Okay. Let's glue it down. Them. Them little guys. Maybe everything will also look different if I add the coloring around, the edging. Maybe I'll do that. So, you know, the whole project then kind of comes, oops, comes to life and all matches m better. And sometimes by doing that you can gain some other idea regard stuff. Okay, I like that. Okay. What do you think? I cannot hear you, but I really hope you are enjoying this <laughs> ride, this journey with me today, tonight. I love how the background <sighs> looks nicely and different as well it's I don't know it just I just love it ah, go back go back I just want to see oh, I love that I still think that we need to add something in the um, I don't know I'm, I'm just thinking we should add some kind of I'm probably too harsh with my shadowing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm think I think I am with my edging. I think I need to add something else to the whole wait. Or maybe like that. Or none. Or on top like here. Oh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be so empty, so, I don't know, so-so. I wonder if I can do anything here to kind of, you know, darken them up and... Let's see if I'll start adding gently touches of color. I had to sneeze again, sorry. <laughs> I was sneezing like mad. Three times at least. Okay, so that's that's kind of brings everything together nicely.
I'm still kind of tempted to add some <laughs> gesso, white gesso. Why not? We'll see, we'll see. Oh, we can actually as well add some color here. I never added those. It's okay. I love that. So, what next, guys? What could be added next? Back to you. Let me just try something because I thought, you know what? Why not to use chipboards? I usually would use chipboards like this way, like like a bright side of a chipboard. But since this one is vintagey brown, you know, oldish looking, instead of going like this, let's say. I would maybe swap sides to this one and it's already aged and matching lovely. I also have background like this and Marta, where's your craft knife? <laughs> Don't be lazy. I'm just such a lazy girl sometimes, you know, or oftentimes. Let's face it. Um, where's my craft knife? Okay, I have some. I have two. I have two. No, my pink mat. Okay, let's see if I can get it off. Mm -hmm. Be very careful with using craft knife, any knife, anything like this sort. Please be careful. Don't cut yourself. And if you're a child, please be advised to ask your parents, maybe, or siblings older if you have. I think it's past 2 o'clock because I heard some noise and my phone usually turns off at 2 o'clock. Well, <laughs> is it that late? I said to Lucas I'm going to wait for him, but he's a genie, no. Marta, it's going to be like or something you need to get up for Hannah in the morning. I'll see. It's awful dreadful day was today weather wise. Very not nice. And poor Hannah <laughs> was bringing shoes all day. Shoe? No. She? Shoe? 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 No. Yeah. What, what does she say? How she says shoes? She says shish 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 something like that. <laughs> She's so cute. So she wanted to go out, of course, because she's made to be out all the time. <laughs> I have this gorgeous rose as well. Maybe it would be nice. Or, whoops, where did you go, you mod? Oh, I love it. It's starting to really appealing to me more than, oh, I love this one. But I don't like the white edging. So what I'm thinking is to actually just, you know, brown it and that's it rather than fussy cutting that and making it smaller and making it more diff it's difficult to fussy cut obviously my paper is actually good to fussy cut because it's not that thick it is a very thick fine paper but it's not that extremely thick so you're not gonna kill your fingers with fussy cutting it you know I fussy cut I'll show you a whole envelope of of elements. The whole paper is here. Paper set is in this envelope. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Wow. It starts to really look like something special. But I was thinking, like, now before anything, we have to move that and we have to finish those because those are not finished. As you can probably see, these are not glued down. We need to glue them down. This is very out of my comfort zone project and something that I really uh, like. You know, I just, I just really hope to to create something different, which I think we are aiming. And you know what? I be looking for more chess uh, boards and using those in my future mix. What would be cool is that I cannot close it because it's too thick but if I wouldn't use them thicker elements 
you could create things and close it. Imagine that. And make some, that's what I'm going to do next time, make some coverage for that. It's like a hidden box. How cool is that? I didn't think about that while, you know, gluing all of this. Uh, but next time, for definite. I think for definite. <laughs> I think for definite. Like this, why not? I really hope you are enjoying this chitty chat. I'm maybe not that chatty as normally because it's late and I feel it in my legs. I'm standing. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. 95% of the time I stand when I craft. So, But I'm so happy. I wouldn't change that to anything. I just can hear Hannah moving a little bit uh, in the bed. So she may call me. We'll see. We will see. Sometimes it happens that she doesn't wake up until really morning, so that's nice. Slowly she starts that, which is great. Okay. How about cutting those in smaller? That's one thing. That's one for sure thing. But also, no, I'm gonna definitely clo uh, glue that down like in few places okay like here mm -hmm. you can find all kinds of selection of chipboards in my store so I invite you to to check it out now I didn't look and I glue it down wrongly which I need to fix because this should be should be uh, come on this should be straight to look it perfect okay let's do it again let's do it again oh no that's better I love that it's very pretty frame isn't it I have some frames in the shop I have yeah it's always random selection but always pretty pretty things okay how cool is that now I was thinking instead of you know we can just cut it shorter smaller and use it on the sides kind of you know let's see if this is good idea something along those lines I love that now by the way I didn't catch up on comments at all the new paper launch new product launch was just so crazy busy and packing your orders thank you so much for all of the orders because we, we get hammered literally we got hammered so thank you so much we were going three times um, sending orders three three goals uh, I had divided the whole process into three because it was so many in one week and no in nearly two weeks so yes thank you <laughs> so much for doing this for supporting us but that's why I didn't catch up on any comments and I was thinking Either I catch up on comments or record a video while actually Lucas is not here and I can seriously actually be back to my old me kind of, you know, and just do something cute for you because you're waiting for a video and catch up maybe the next day, <laughs> like tomorrow, when I be half asleep, I be catching up on your comments. Please don't think I'm ignoring your comments. I really don't. I love them so much and I appreciate them a lot just now it was a little bit hectic and yes just a little bit now this is some part that it didn't look nice that's uh, that's okay you see you can always cut it it's shorter smaller and fix it that way oops what you think what you think what you think what you think because i i don't know how it looks in the camera but i really i really love the way it looks now no, I think too empty, isn't it? Not too much happening. Maybe if not the moth, maybe the, the dragonfly, maybe the moth actually white. 
because it's standing out more. Because here was dark and the white, so it was just not working for me. I don't know now. Let's see. Let's see. I love it. <laughs> you see, I encourage you to praise yourself. I really do. I always constantly <laughs> praise myself. I am um, okay. I don't know what else what else to add because I feel that it's already a lot what it is. So I don't know. I'll see if I can attach this nicely with the hot glue. Yeah, it works. Okay, let's do a similar thing here on a tiny bit of hot glue. Why not? Okay, perfect too. Maybe I use some flowers in the in the middle. I'll see. I'll see what will look better. The dolly. Ah no. <laughs> a bug. No. No, sorry, not this time anyway. I think the edging of the elements made a huge difference in the project, the whole project, isn't it? I think I think so very much. Okay. You are so beautiful. Now we're not going to be able to close it, but that's okay. I will attach that. If I'll change my mind, I can always rip it apart. Okay, what about some title, some something? Back to you, but before we start, let's see what's uh, what's the choice now. It's exactly 30% to 30% of mixed media canvas and art journaling. I really hope you can see that. Oh, let's show you. There we go. So, <laughs> it's, it's not really a canvas I'm making, definitely not art journaling, but anyway. Mm, next will be canvas or art journaling and yeah let's continue with our cheese board a uh, chess board <laughs> from the back of my papers let me show you from the whole set that we have here by the way these are all the designs that you have in the set you can see it isn't it mm. so we have 22 unique designs 36 pages included in the set here in the set here so we have thicker pages and we have all of these in thicker pages and in the collage pages papers as well very nice I hope and on the back we have something about me something that was in my mind in my head but also uh, the way I did it I wanted you to be able to use that and indeed I already used this one in the video that will be soon <laughs> on the channel but look at this one I just cut it that from another page, from another set that I'm already cutting and I thought to add this as a title. Let me see because maybe it's maybe you cut it shorter, maybe it's, I don't know, too big but also look, maybe instead of having a flower there I could have it slightly higher I could have, because what's nice about it is that actually color scheme matches the background a lot what if I cut it shorter a bit on the sides maybe this will kind of looks better like here and here and what if I'll edge also the edging thing and this could be like oh I love that this could be like this but let's edge it oh sure why, why not it will be just then oh no I'm not gonna add any more pigment because then it's gonna be too dark I think I added too much pigment in general I should be probably more um pushing it, pushing it to color it rather than adding more pigment, am I right? Those who are into, very much into inks, I'm not that yet, but I'm learning. I, I'm sure you can you can correct me and say that yes, indeed, Marta. <laughs> Instead of dipping it in all the time in the ink, you should just keep on being persistent and just add, 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 add. Now, let's see about that. I love that. So this is, I need a little bit now, I really do. <laughs> so this is the back of my 
um, paper set and I think it's nice you can use those motivational quotes motivational word sentences you can cut it the way as you wish and they're big enough and they also actually sorry for um, they also on the packaging when you get stencils or my my stickers they, this is also on the packaging on the small packaging uh, we will be using this packaging as well on our projects for sure because um, many of you is getting products so we have lots of packaging maybe too much and we will try to reuse them again oh, I love it so much and although it's so different to what I have pictured no I haven't, I lied, I didn't picture it. <laughs> anything um, but I, I just love it and it's so perfect now if you don't have cheese board, a cheese board a uh, chess board certainly you can use um, canvas, reversed canvas like here, look like here, reverse canvas, easily, easily guys, easily, okay. Now, you would be fabulous if you could share this video with your friends. This would be so much fun for others to see and it would be so amazing for me because you would help to grow the channel basically and for others to join here and see what we're doing and becoming part of this channel, so that would be lovely. So thank you in advance for sharing this video. Yes, I'm gonna add some glue here on one end and on the other end. There we go. And I'm gonna just kind of... <laughs> oh, go back. Kind of do like this. Exactly. Perfect. You know? It's not really in the middle. Does it have to be? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Oh well, no, it doesn't have to be in the middle. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, I just like that so much. So different. Wow. <laughs> I am kind of speechless myself, to be very honest. What we have created here. How different. Chessboard. Can you believe it? Okay. I think we are done and dusted here. No, actually, let's add some more uh, last elements here on the panel, definitely. Because we're missing some kind of touches of... We're missing something here as well. Which could go... Mm-hmm. Let's see. Like this. Hmm. Oh. Why not? Maybe like that. There we go. So this is kind of a closure really <laughs> for the rest of it. Okay, I can hear Henio. <laughs> He's not asleep. Okay, what about this one? How about this one here? Or here. Mm. It would be good, but we would really have to cut it like this. So, mm. yeah, but maybe this tiny touch, and that's it. Like, look. Or opposite. Yeah. Yes. I think so. No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, a tiny touch. A final touch. Kind of. Okay. I wonder if there's anything uh, that we could add to finish, 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 finish all. Do we need anything more? How about if I now I'll add the fly or someone here? Ah. Okay. Hmm. Or is it too much? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Maybe this with it. Or no, I think it's just too much. It's gorgeous like that. Okay. This is it. This is done and dusted here. Our assemblage mixed media altered canvas, let's say. I really hope you liked it. Enjoyed this session. Pretty strange. Pretty challenging, I have to say, but truly enjoyment, true enjoyment for me, and I hope for you too. 
grab your tools, just try it, just be courageous and create something different. Why not? I invite you to have a look in the shop, on my online store, in the online store, um, for the papers, for other bits and pieces. Links is in the description box, as always, below the video. Um, what can I say? Different, but I like it. And I imagine this being framed as well. That could be really, really nice. So. Um, it's us that have the power to transform, educate, inspire and motivate and I'm going to leave you with this for tonight. Thank you so much as always for watching, for being here with me. Stay inspired and uh, make some beautiful things. Be happy, definitely. Bye! Bye bye!